こうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこ Stopping with that object, drawing backwards, and turning and going with that object. And so, just like I did along the fence, just like I did out there with my partner Alex, I'll do the same thing here with a flag and see if my horse can't begin to understand the game. And the great thing about the flag is it is so predictable where a cow could run left or right or right at you right away. This flag's only going to do what I tell it to because I've got this little remote on my hand. I'm going to step up to this flag. Have my horse hook on to it. Draw my horse backwards. Stop. Draw my horse backwards. Draw back. Wait on the flag. Wait. Draw backwards. Want my horse to back up a little bit. And I'm going to stop when that flag stops. I'm going to draw backwards. And I'm going to come through the turn. Doesn't have to be fast and flashy. I'm just going to draw my horse backwards. Then let him come through the turn. The important thing is that my horse always understands how to load up that hind end, come backwards. Draw him back, then let him come through the turn. When that object stops, he needs to think about getting stopped and back up. Then right up to this flag, back up. The horse needs to wait, wait, wait until there. Get soft. It's really important that we see the horse's eye in the direction in which you're going. So when I get ready to make this left hand turn, I need to see this horse's left eye. When I make this right hand turn, I need to be able to see my horse's right eye. I'm going to wait here, then bring him through the turn. Bump him back. Keep those stops nice and crisp. It's really not important that it happens very fast at this stage of the game. Slow and rhythmic and learning the cadence and the footwork. And just so my horse doesn't get bothered and worried about the flag, I might take just a moment and get him soft and walk him in some little circles. That flag's not going to go anywhere until I push the button. That's the great thing about having something like this, other than a cow that is so unpredictable. I've got all the control here. I don't want my horse getting stiff and bracy through these turns. It's this idea of walking forward and drawing backwards before we make that turn. Now, I'm going to see if my horse can take a little more responsibility. He needs to think about backing up before he makes that turn. I'm going to keep my hand down. I want him to draw backwards. He needs to draw backwards and then come through that turn. What I want instilled in his mind is to back up and then go. Back up and then go. Then I'll release him by putting my hand on his neck, backing away from that flag. Show him his work is done there. Especially if you start speeding things up a little bit. Horse can get a little worried 
or anticipating. Sometimes I like to come back in here after I'm done with the flag, just move those body parts around a little bit, and soften them up so that he's not anticipating, that he's not worried. So there's always a tendency for horses to get stiff and bracy. So the suppling exercises here become real important. This is the essence of a cow horse turn. Drawing that horse back, loading up that hind end like a spring and then releasing that horse, making sure you see that eye in the direction in which your horse is going. Direct rein, neck rein, outside leg. And remember the cutter's mantra, you've got to stop before you turn. I'm Richard Winters. Thanks for watching. See you next time. This show is brought to you in part by our proud sponsors, Lubricin, Bar Ale Equine Feeds, Spalding Fly Predators, Professionals Choice, J.W. Brooks Custom Hats, and Buckaroo Leather Products.